The Godfather. Today we have a book named The Godfather Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a kind and gentle godfather named Tobiah. He was known throughout the land for his wisdom, generosity, and willingness to help those in need. Tobias was beloved by all who knew him, from the humblest peasant to the mightiest king. One day, as Tobias was walking through the forest near his home, he heard a faint cry for help. Following the sound, he discovered a small cottage hidden among the trees. Inside, he found a family of mice huddled together in fear. What seems to be the matter, my friends? Tobias asked, his voice gentle and soothing. The eldest mouse stepped forward, trembling with fear. Oh, kind godfather, a fierce cat has been terrorizing our home. We fear for our lives and don't know what to do. Tobias nodded thoughtfully. Fear not, dear mice. I shall help you find a solution to your problem. With that, Tobias set out to confront the cat. He searched high and low until he finally found the creature lurking in the shadows of the forest. The cat snarled and hissed at Tobias, its eyes gleaming with malice. But Tobias did not waver. With a calm and steady voice, he spoke to the cat, appealing to its better nature and asking it to leave the mice in peace. To his surprise, the cat listened, its fierce demeanor softening as Tobias spoke. From that day on, the cat and the mice lived together in harmony, thanks to the kindness and wisdom of their godfather, Tobias. But Tobias's adventures were far from over. One day, news reached the kingdom of a terrible dragon that was ravaging the countryside, spreading fear and destruction wherever it went. The king called upon Tobias, knowing that only he possessed the courage and strength to face such a formidable foe. Tobias accepted the king's request without hesitation. Armed with nothing but his wits and his trusty walking stick, he set out to confront the dragon. The journey was long and perilous, but Tobias pressed on, his determination unwavering. Finally, he reached the dragon's lair a dark and forbidding cave at the top of a treacherous mountain. As Tobias entered the cave, he was met with a blast of searing heat and the deafening roar of the dragon. But he stood his ground, facing the creature with courage and resolve. With a swift motion, Tobias raised his walking stick and spoke words of peace and understanding. To his amazement, the dragon responded, its fierce gaze softening as Tobias spoke. Through patience and kindness, Tobias was able to convince the dragon to cease its rampage and live in harmony with the kingdom. Once again, he had saved the day with his wisdom and compassion. From that day on, Tobias was hailed as a hero throughout the kingdom. His bravery and kindness had brought peace and prosperity to all who lived there, and his legend would be remembered for generations to come. And so, dear little one, remember the tale of the godfather Tobias, a man whose kindness and courage knew no bound. For in a world filled with darkness and strife, it is the light of compassion and understanding that truly shines brightest of all. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.